Winning the Footprint Challenge last year was fantastic. We worked so hard on lots of different projects and been able to show that we can make a difference um, in our school was great. This year, uh, towards the start of the year, we were going for recertification of our green flag, so that involved a lot of work of getting things put together. From that, we decided we would focus on recycling, um, so that has been our main point this year, um, looking at the blue bins, looking at paper recycling, as well as batteries and crisp recycling. Here at South Craig, we have been making eco bricks. An eco brick is, is a plastic bottle and it's full of wrappers. These things can't be recycled. We've also cut our bottles in half and attached them to wooden structures like the one behind me to make planters and there has been an idea to award house points to the house who can go the most plant pots and try to encourage people to help the environment. It's important to reuse waste because it could be very harmful for the environment and reusing it could just be refilling old bottles or making something else out of the plastic. We are taking part in the Connected World Challenge at Dumfries House and we have made Terry the turtle to highlight the problems of plastic pollution. The environmental impact is really bad because plastic doesn't um, disappear over time and animals may eat it which can harm them and cause many different species to become um, endangered and in worst case scenario extinct. Here at Plesso Academy, we are very passionate about reducing our waste. We took part in a beach clean and that taught us how, how plastic and disposable items affect our planet and how climate change is really changing the world. We decided that we would try to make a change. In the canteen, we have taken away any single-use plastics or disposable plastics and replaced them with real plates, cutlery um, and objects that can be reused. Throughout the year, the Eco Committee has worked on improving the Eco Garden, which has become a major hub within the school. In addition to this, we have been working closely with the Fair Trade Committee to run two national campaigns within the school. These have been Fair Trade Fortnite, where we have attempted to improve people's knowledge of fair trade issues, and Earth Hour, where we have attempted to reduce our carbon footprint. In our greenhouse, we have been growing tomatoes, cucumbers and peppers, and outside, potatoes, onions and other fruit and vegetables. The kitchen uses our produce for lunch. So how much food do you reckon gets thrown away? They've came along and asked what kind of vegetables and herbs and things that we'd like to use in the kitchen and we just take what we need at a certain time. For the main meals we could make vegetable curries, soups, it cuts out the food that, that's getting thrown away at the end of the day which helps the wastage within the school which we're trying to cut out anyway. Our biggest project this year was a school-wide survey that looked at energy use and waste. We wanted to know what people understand about these topics and how they related to climate change. At the start of last year we created a survey on SurveyMonkey and sent it to all the registration classes throughout the school. Uh, we got a 20% return rate off of that survey. And after that, in April, we did a follow-up survey. The results were an increase of 10% in most questions. This was really good results for us and we're very pleased with it. This year at Mar College, we hosted the Eco Fair Trade Conference. We also looked at litter, recycling and power usage within the school and local community. The Eco Group conducted a survey to see how many monitors and Panathian boards were left on at lunchtime. The results were shocking. 200 monitors and 38 boards were left on at lunchtime. We conducted a switch off campaign to make people aware of the issues, as Panathian boards, like the one behind me, use 300 watts of power when switched on. This means a lot of wasted energy and CO2 into the atmosphere. After the switch off campaign, we conducted the survey again and noticed that there were less monitors left on and almost all Promethean boards were switched off. This makes a huge difference to our energy use and carbon dioxide emissions. Here at Kyle Academy we renewed our green flag. 
We focused on our work in the gardens, weeding and planting wildflowers and raspberries. We planted daffodils in upcycled recycling bins and now that the daffodils are finished flowering, we replace them with vegetables. Just now we are digging up bulbs so we can keep them for next year. Our vegetables will be used to make soup or other foods for the game cafe. Growing our own fruits and vegetables can help save money. They are good for our environment because they look nice and they also breathe in carbon dioxide and breathe out oxygen, which is good for us. This will attract bees, wasps and other insects to the area to help improve biodiversity. One of our biggest projects was bee hotels. Bee hotels are for solitary bees who need somewhere to stay where they can rest and potentially lay eggs. A bee hotel is made up of mostly straws or anything that really has a hole in the center that is big enough for them to fit into. These straws would be in the bin, so we are trying to make a second use out of them. Bees are so important to our environment because they pollinate our flowers, which eventually gives us food. And without flowers, we have no seeds. So without the seeds, we have no plants. So bees are essential for all life on Earth. In South Ayrshire, we choose to take action on climate change. The Provost School Footprint Challenge lets us take action on global issues. From a local point of view. We are the first generation that know we are destroying our planet. And the last that can do anything about it. Things like our own plastic pollution and energy use. Food and transport can change both at school and at home. We can make a difference. And so can you.